from the bowhead whale to the phytoplankton. The Arctic is a magnificent place. The animal kingdom is the reason why everything is balanced out. So we will show you how these animals survive out in the cold. The Arctic may seem cold and deserted, but actually a lot of animals live there. Many birds can be found in the Arctic, for example the snowy owl. Snowy owls have white feathers which provide a camouflage. This helps the owl hide amongst the snow if an arctic fox or wolf comes looking for dinner. The snowy owl's energy comes from eating lemmings, which also happen to be the arctic fox's main diet. Apart from the lemming, the musk ox and many insects are primary consumers. They feed on tiny flowering plants, grass, sedges and willows. Some examples of herbivores in the arctic are the lemming, the arctic hare, the musk ox, the caribou, and the arctic ground squirrel. The arctic fox and wolf and the occasional owl mainly feed on them. Even though the polar bear is a predator, it mainly feeds on marine life. Here is the food web of the arctic. As the arctic is cold, plants are scarce. This is due to the lack of sunlight and soil which deprives it from the ability to photosynthesize and obtain minerals from the ground. However, the occasional few that do have the ability to survive in the Arctic include dwarf shrubs, graminoids, various herbs, and a variety of moss. The further you go into the Arctic, the less plants you see. This is because towards the centre of the Arctic the temperature drops, decreasing the amount of warmth for plants. If the temperature drops, it becomes harder for the plants to photosynthesize so they can't survive. I, I, I wanna save you. Global warming is a huge issue all around the world. But if it affects the Arctic in any way, the results could be fatal. It has been discovered that there are large amounts of oil and gas in the Arctic that countries are fighting over. As the ice in the Arctic melts, a very poisonous gas called methane gets released into the air. This doesn't only damage the environment, it damages the animals that live in the Arctic as well. This won't only have an impact on the Arctic, but it will also perish us. We now hope that you are as full of information as we are regarding the Arctic. Tune in next week to find out about deep sea creatures and whether they are really as scary as they look.